you've decided to take a break from alcohol, or at least you're thinking about it, but what's going to stop you from having a drink when that annoying friend asks you to just have one? Or what's going to stop you having a drink on those evenings when you feel slightly bored because you can't have a beer? If you don't have a sober purpose, this is where it could all fall down. In this video, I'm going to tell you how I defined my sober purpose by simply answering two questions. And if you're able to answer those questions as well, then you will get your own internal reason for keeping away from alcohol. It will make you want to do it rather than it be feeling like you're depriving yourself. I thought that when I stopped drinking alcohol, I would feel incredible every single day and was slightly disappointed to find out that that's not the case. But in the first three months I took off, I was able to define a purpose that was so strong that when I went through these periods of not feeling the benefits I was hoping for, I was never ever going to give up. It meant that when people tried to get me to drink, I was never going to give in to the peer pressure. For those of you who don't know my story, I'm a heavy binge drinker and Certain life events led to me needing to take three months off. I saw that alcohol was affecting my health, my productivity, and my relationships. About two months into this three months off, I made the decision to extend that break till the whole of 2024. So what happened in those three months to make me fall out of love with alcohol? And how did this help me define an unbreakable sober purpose? Firstly, I consumed an abundance of research online about how alcohol negatively affects your health. This made me look at the past 15 years of my life where I've been drinking and wonder what damage I'd done to myself. But more importantly, it made me think about what I could look like in the future if I carried on doing this for another 15, 20, 30 years. Secondly, taking a break from alcohol made me realize how mentally dependent I was on it. it I, I couldn't stop thinking about it when I stopped. It still dominated my mind for at least two months after quitting. And finally, with alcohol out of my life, I realized how much more time I had to do things that I wanted to do. Waking up early, being productive, feeling good all the time, I suddenly realized, looking back, how much time I had wasted. And you only get one life. So the seeds were planted for me to take a longer period of time with alcohol than those initial three months. But what was going to make sure that I kept going through with that and enjoyed going through with that? This is where you need a sober purpose. This purpose is internal to you. It's not dependent on anybody else's opinions. And you can define yours by answering these two questions. Question one, what do I always do in life, even when alcohol is involved? And could I do this better if alcohol wasn't involved? The reason this question is great is because it brings to the surface your values in life. When I did this, the first thing that came to my mind was the fact that I always do sports. I always go to the gym. I always eat quite healthily. Even when I'm going through my heaviest periods of drinking, I'd always find time to look after myself because I want to look in shape. I always try to do a sport because I want to get better at it. I always eat well because I don't want to, again, get out of shape. Now answering the second part of the question, could I do this better if alcohol was not involved? It's a categoric yes. It's so obvious that if I wasn't drinking, I could be healthier. And given all of the research that I'd now done on the detrimental effects of alcohol on your health, it seemed crazy that it, on one side I value my health, and on the second side, every single week I am ruining this progress by drinking a poison. The second thing that came to mind when I asked myself, what do I always do, is I'm always trying to progress in my career. Even again, when I go through the times when I'm drinking a lot, I find the time to work on my personal development to try and move forward in my career. So clearly productivity and growth is also important to me. 
I think I would truly be shocked if I was able to add up the amount of days that I've wasted where I wanted to be productive but I've not been able to because I've been hung over. Could I do this better if alcohol was removed from my life? Hell yes I could. With this extra time I gain from removing alcohol, what could I achieve in my career? This is when it starts to get really exciting and I start to look forward to a life without alcohol. The final thing that came to mind is that I'm always trying to master a new skill, whether that be a sport, whether that be uh, learning a language, whether that be learning an instrument, but I've always struggled with the patience and the consistency to really see it through and get good at it. I'll start something, I'll see immediate improvements and then I'll plateau and I'll usually give up because I'm not seeing as much progress as I'd like to. So again, this means that it's an important thing to me and answering the second part of the question, could I do it better without alcohol being involved? It's an absolute yes. So now I've built the foundations of my sober purpose and they link to health, productivity and growth. At the start, I said that relationships was a key reason that I took that initial three months off. And it's actually not made it through to be part of my sober purpose that's driving me now. And I realized that that's because the other factors are more internal to me, whereas relationships are slightly out of my control. Somebody could just decide that they don't like me, whereas I'm in full control of health, my productivity, and my growth. So answering that first question has helped me understand what's important to me. It's made me excited about going through the next stage of my life alcohol free. But to make this purpose even stronger, you need to answer the second question is, what do I want to achieve in life? But alcohol is negatively affecting my chances of doing this. This links to setting goals for yourself and you've already defined what's important to you, so those goals can link to those factors. So I will set goals on health, I will set goals on productivity, and I will set goals on growth. And all of a sudden, this becomes exciting because I realize that my sober self is going to execute on these goals. So all of a sudden, I can be more ambitious. And in the next video, I'll tell you what those goals are. So please let me know when you answer that, those two questions, what do you come up with? What is driving you? What is your sober purpose? And please like and subscribe if you're finding any of the content I'm providing useful.